Some foreign agencies monitor scientific discoveries, especially when they can be used in warfare. Each nation hopes that they can secretly intercept some new device that will help them become the sole world power. Such a device does exist. The killing device. Interesting, but what what is it? You're an investigative reporter, right? Yeah. So investigate. Bob, we don't need Senate approval on this thing. We can do this ourselves. Can't you give me a name? I mean something I can sink your teeth into. I'll have to shoot right back with you on that one, Keith. Uh, someone just came in. Yeah, sink my teeth into. Find what you're looking for, Fuzznuts? Uh, she... I thought all informants were men in trench coats who meet in dark alleys. What do you want from me? We want to know who you're working for. Look, I'm a reporter. I work for the Herald. Oh, shit. Right, just in time. Oh. I'm not controlled, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta kill you. God damn it, Vinny, get out of my way!
Now, you be still back there. Don't hurt yourself. Be quiet. You like your gift wrapping, do you? <laughs> You're going to make a nice present for somebody, you know. <laughs> Johnson? That's me. LAPD. I'm Detective Young. This is Detective Silva. Hi. Hi. We'd like you to come down to the station and answer a few questions. Right now? Is there a problem? No, no, it's, a, it's no problem. Uh, I'll be right with you. Okay. Justice. Taking me in for suspicion. Suspicion of what? I'm gonna lose my job. It's not fair. It's all misunderstanding, Carl. I've just been having a very pleasant discussion with your attorney. But uh, six convictions for molestation is plenty of reason for us to start an investigation. Now, wait a minute. That's all in the past. My client here has a job. He's a respectable citizen, pays his taxes. Uh huh. Look, uh, we're releasing him. You don't have to plead anymore for your client, counselor. Imagine the clear. Sign him. Send Young and Silver in here right away. Okay. Now get the hell out of here. You both know better than bringing somebody in here just on the grounds of suspicion. Look, somebody said they saw the ice cream truck in that area. I don't know. I don't know. Proof. We know, but... Look. You can't go harassing innocent, law-abiding citizens without proof. That girl could have been a runaway. Look, we think she was kidnapped. Listen. There are 40. Count them. 40 missing children cases in this precinct alone. Look at them. You two morons are their only hope. Now get your asses out there and find them. Take your ass someplace else. Hey, come on, my kid has to go to the bathroom. I just cleaned it up. All right, I'll give you a buck for your troubles. Let me use Did the Did you hear me? I said no. Now get the hell out of here.
You get anything dirty, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, Angel, look at Daddy found your potty chip. Hey, boy, I told you to get your ass out of here. Up yours, Porky. I'm going to teach you some manners, boy. Good in school, okay? Okay, now what I want you to do is follow the light. Okay, now this one. Boy, you're good. You're very good now. Give me, let me do this. Okay, you relax. Oh, that's good. And that's good. This is a healthy child. The results of the tests arrived. They're excellent. Good. We have a perfect match. We'll do the surgery immediately. You mean right now? Immediately.
Is everything ready? She's under. find your sweater in the playground, right? Right. Right, see? No problem. I hope so, because I really don't have time to knit her a new one. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to knit her another one just like that.
found that sweater in the playground, right? Well, I think it belongs to my daughter. I'm Angela's father. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, make sure you take it back to the school tomorrow morning, okay? Whoa, little girl, you shouldn't run out into the parking lot. There are too many cars. How would you like an ice cream cone, huh? You just stay right here, and I'll get you a nice ice cream cone, and it'll be free. Pretty little girls never have to pay out for ice cream cones. Sherry Cutler. She's like this high. She's seven years old with blonde hair and brown eyes. I might have a picture of her here. I can't find the picture. Please mind my baby for me. I, can't, I don't know what happened to her. Please, will you get her? Units in the vicinity of 34th and South be on the lookout for an eight-year-old girl with long blonde hair, brown eyes about four feet tall. Have you seen this little girl before? Que si has visto esta muchacha antes? Sí, sí la he mirado. Es una de las niñas que vienen a la escuela aquí. ¿Y la viste ayer que anduviera sola? Sí. Solamente que afuera estaba un hombre con una troca. The man was here. Can you describe him? Puedes describir. No, no creo que me acuerde. Say no. Pero alguna seña que te acuerdes de él o que tuviera. Parece que la camioneta traía placas de Arizona. Era blanca. A white truck with that Arizona place. Y tenía un letrero que, que decía Alameda. Alameda. Uh -huh. Let's go. Gracias. The picture. Yeah. Now here's the leak, you see? You've got to change the gasket and make sure that it fits tight. But don't tighten it with a hammer because then you're going to screw up the whole thing. You got it? I got it. been there so long it learned a lot huh this sweater deserves a diploma pablo what happened why were the firemen here the car caught on fire can i go see the firemen daddy sure but just stay on the sidewalk close to the house and don't bother tom promise yeah all right go on pablo, i don't know how these things happen But look at me. Did anything happen to me? Of course not. Okay? I just singed my eyelashes, all right? A little girl was kidnapped. 
When? Yesterday, right after school. She was only eight years old. That's awful. We are police. We need some information. We'd like to take a look at your uh, truck returns and out of state license plates. Okay, but it'll take a few moments. It's good the janitor saw the truck. Maestro Mendoza. Si, señor, ¿qué tal? My car. Ah, su car. Fíjese. We had an accident this morning. We got behind in all our work. But I'll have it for you tomorrow, for sure. For sure? Hombre, para usted todo. Mañana, for sure. Adios. What happened, Maestro? Why didn't you give him his car? It's ready. <laughs> because, Romo, today is discount day at the drive-in, huh? Two good movies for the price of one. Lisa, Angela, and myself are having popcorn tonight, huh? Sorry, we close at five. Homicide Division, Detective Young. It's my partner, Lieutenant Silva. So? We need some information on Pablo Mendoza. Oh, well, he lives out and back. Come on. Hey, Mendoza. You. Come on out, man. <clears throat> hey, boss, getting dinner ready tonight. Yeah? Why not feeling too well? Well, uh, these... Two officers want to have a few words with you. Sure, what can I do for you? You rented a truck in Arizona? Yeah, it's a move. We just got here. Daddy! Daddy! That's my daughter, Angela. She's helped me with dinner. Where does your daughter go to school? 34th and South near the park. That's fine, Mendoza. Have a nice meal. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Good night. Daddy! Daddy! Okay, okay, okay. Be, be careful. Be careful. I got it. I got it. Oh! Stay back. Wait, oh. what's happening? Uh, I, I was just cooking some eggs, and I didn't like how they turned out. Uh. I just saw the police leave. Why were they here? Uh, they came uh, to ask me about uh, the truck to see if I had an accident or something. Honey, uh, let me cook, all right? No, 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 no. We can take care of it. You're going to go get some rest. Angela and I are going to take care of everything. Right, Angela? Right. I'll set the table. Okay, don't forget the silverware. Come on. You're going to bed right now. Honey, can you turn on the TV for me? Yeah, sure. Noticias de última hora. Investigadores de la Policía de Los Ángeles dicen tener pistas de la desaparición de la pequeña Sherry Cutler. Seguiremos informando en cuanto tengamos nuevas noticias. The brush fires sweeping across the San Gabriel Mountains were contained by 400 volunteer firefighters working throughout the night. Also, the search continues for little Sherry Cutler who disappeared while walking home from... I don't want you to see things that are going to upset you, Lisa. Well, listen, the little girl, she was kidnapped right here in the neighborhood. Where are you going? I'm just going out to have a beer, all right? You get some rest.
Okay, you can go home now. Okay, oh, you're welcome. Oh, don't forget your shoes. Bye-bye. Good night. do for you? I'd like you to answer some questions. Yeah, sure. Come into the office. We're going down to the station. Well, let me tell my boss and my wife she's in the back. We're leaving now. What? Turn around! What are you talking about? I said turn around! What the hell's going on? Shut up! This is bullshit! You have the right to remain silent! Anything you say can be... See, Mr. Mendoza. Now, Pablito, it's real important that you and I confirm where you were last night. We brought in the owner of the pawn shop. He'll tell you I was there. He sold me the gun. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see, won't we? Yeah. Are you okay? Don't worry. Anybody see you last night? No, I don't. I don't think so, no. Why don't you write down everything just the way it happened? Just like it happened. What, just like in a letter? Exactly. Lieutenant Silva, Detective Young, the chief wants you downstairs right away. Oh, shit. Why 
Watch it carefully. Yes. I need a permit to buy? Not in my store, but I can't give you a receipt or an invoice. That's okay by me. I always wanted to buy a quick thing. A quick thing? Yeah, that's what my dad called me when I was a kid. Might I just solve this case? Two cases in one week. Similar characteristics. We have the evidence right here. Mendoza's prints are all over the shoes. Where did they find him? In an alley. I want you to come down hard on him. You've got to find out what he's done with his children. It doesn't make sense. So what? The fact is, we got our man. I did my best, and I wrote it just the way it happened. Well, cut the innocent crap. I want to know exactly what you did from the time you left your house, from the time you returned home. You just read it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what happened. Well, that's a good one. You tell me. Yeah, I'll tell you. When you left the house, you followed the little girl to the park because you knew she was alone. Now, what'd you do with her, huh? What are you talking about? What'd you about? do with her? Look, I don't know what you're talking about, so why don't you just let me go home? I've got to take care of my wife. Yeah, well, we got to take care of you. First, the janitor saw you follow the little girl to the park. And second, your fingerprints are all over the other girl's shoes. Yes, sir. I'm Bob Martin. Have you ever seen this man before? No, sir. Never. Never. You're positive. Yes, sir. I'm positive. What do you mean, no? I was just in your place yesterday. Shut up. You said you sold him a gun. I, I never sold him anything. I don't go around selling guns just like that. You got the gun. I've never seen it before. Look, he's lying. He sold me the gun. Shut up. No, I'm not going to shut up. Okay, that's no, mister, don't. You can go. Come on, don't start lying like this. Yeah. Damn it! He stole me the gun! No, come on, I got a wife, I got a kid, I got to take care of <laughs> feeling too good today, so we're gonna have to walk a little slowly, okay? Okay. Okay? Let's play a game. What kind of game do you want to play? I know. Let's play baby steps. Baby steps. Well, how do baby steps go? Yeah, is that how they go?
want to rest her a little bit, okay? Baby, why don't you go get mommy some water because I'm not feeling too good, okay? No. Oh, okay, I'll stay with her till you arrive. Make it snappy. your ice cream? No, I don't know where's my mother. She's gone. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll take you home, but do you know where you live? Yeah, at the back of Fernando's shop. Fernando's shop? Oh, I know where that is. I'll take you home as soon as I finish. Now, you get in the truck and wait for me.
Is my family okay? I mean, my daughter's fine, right? They're okay. Everything is fine. Don't worry. Here comes the baby. Pablito. Your daddy's gonna be so proud of you. There's nothing wrong with her. Good. We need complete tissue tests. We can't afford to make any mistakes. Yes, sir. As you can see, this is a perfect tissue match. This is a very rare blood type. We are extremely fortunate to get a donor. If you would sign a contract, uh, give us the check, we could proceed immediately. I'm willing to pay the price. But what is my guarantee? I don't know what you mean. My client is willing to give you an advance, and the rest on delivery. <laughs> well, in that case... My son needs a transplant. His heart, he may die. Please, I'm not interested. Mr. Canaletti, don't be offended. It is a considerable sum. Indeed it is. But I have many people interested. St. Louis, San Francisco, Houston. So, if you'll excuse me. Please, Mr. Cataletti, take this check. Fifty thousand. Marvin, show these people out. Delivery will be made if this check clears.
Where the hell is Silva and Young? No. Sam Butler. Morning, Captain. One damn clue. Hell. Shows you what they know. We just found the body of a murdered child. I'd like to report a missing child. Are you the father? No, I'm not the father. She's the daughter of one of my mechanics. The wife has been in the hospital since yesterday afternoon, and there's no sign of the child. There's no reason to get excited about it. Sometimes parents have arguments, and one of them takes the kids. Yeah, but you're holding the father here. Are you sure? What's the kid's name? Angela Mendoza. She's only eight years old. She's Pablo Mendoza's daughter. Hey, I got an idea. I beat the shit out of him, he bleeds, he screams, he cries, and then he tells us the truth. Take it easy. Relax. Pretend so. Hey, Pablito. What'd you do with the little girls? What'd you do with them? Would you rape them first before you killed them, huh? You can tell me. Come on, Pablito. Listen to me. Mr. Mendoza. Oh, Mr. Mendoza. We're going to have to let you go. supposed to do things like that. Look, Mendoza, the police are doing the best they can. I know they are, Tom. The hard part is lying to Lisa, telling her that Angela's fine. What if they kill my daughter and I didn't do a damn thing to save her? Not a damn thing! Look, man, you need a rest. They really messed you up. Congratulations on your new son. See you at the shop. All right. Approximately seven hours. Was she buried alive? No. She died during surgery. All organs which can be used for transplants were removed. Something like this happened in a black neighborhood a few months ago. They never caught the criminals. Damn bastards. Silva? Yes, sir. I want everyone in my office right away. There's still a lot of missing children out there. I'm not found. Top priority. I want every single available man on this case starting tonight. Captain, tonight, I mean, that's going to take about 16. Just to... do it. Angela, darling, we need to go to the doctor's office for a visit today. 
Where's my mommy? Oh, we have to wait until you're well. You don't want to get your mommy sick too, do you? Well, do I get to have shots? No, no shots today. Come on. Hey, look, I gotta have it tonight. I gotta do major surgery, seven o'clock in the morning. You're sick, man. That's none of your business. Just get it. I don't have any more. You'll get your fix tomorrow. Look, tonight, three grand. Call me back. I'll come get it. Are you ready? I lost. Do you want to stay here? Not for my birthday. I have something for you. <gasps> you do? Yes. What is it? It's a surprise. Where is it? It's in the car. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Going. Where are we going? We're going hunting, partner. I'm sorry, but I can't. Linda's waiting for me. Come on, we gotta go now. We gotta find Pablo's daughter. Okay, let me tell her. No, let's go now. Now get in. Jesus. Okay, let's go. Any idea where to look? Yeah, the captain had this on his desk. What is the first address? 1196 Highland Place. Hey, Silva, what is this anyway? Linda's birthday cake, cabron. Anything you want, just leave me alone. Right? We're police. Police? Oh, you son of a bitch. How, how dare you break in here? I know my rights. Yeah, you son of a bitch. You have the right to die, oh, you wait asshole. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? I want to know where the missing children are, you piece of shit. I don't know anything about any kids, except what I hear on television. It's, it's pretty sad. Stop bluffing. We've seen what you did to one of them. I couldn't help it. I hold the money. I had to do it. Who'd you owe money to? Oh, no. I can't tell you. They'd kill me. Who'll kill you? You don't understand. There's, there's a big syndicate out there with a lot of money. There are people willing to pay any price for the right to stay alive. I, I just did it. You do what? I just did the surgery. You mean you killed the children? Now say it! You piece of shit! You scum... Say it! Say it! in the bathtub. I got the stuff. Come to Sexton Hill. 
Yeah, I'll be right there. It's the first time in my life I feel just as well as down. What are you talking about, man? We put guys behind bars every day. The guy who killed my father was behind bars. He's out now. So how do we know who we're looking for? We will know. Come on, man, let me have some. I'll pay you back next week. Your credit right now. Right? I can't go away empty-handed. Get lost, would you? My friends aren't going to be very happy. That's your tough luck. Look, that's for me. Okay, 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 you take him. I'll cover the back. Silva, hey, you're torching to him. Look, why don't we just shoot him, get it over with? What are you looking for, man? What is this? Heroin. You have it. You'll do 20 years for this. The Hoffman stuff? Yeah. For the kind of operations he makes, he needs it. He's gonna get one. Seven tomorrow morning. Look, Hoffman told us you got the kids. No, man, you got it all wrong. He must mean the ice cream, man. I'm the snowman. If he's got a kid of yours, he's probably dead by now. He's the one you want, me. I'm gonna take this guy in. Silva, he didn't do it. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Come on, let's get out of here, come on. Okay, let's go. Call the station, they'll send someone to pick him up. Let's get out of here. You know, it's got to be that ice cream, man, that uh, we booked the other day. 
He's always hanging around the park where those girls disappeared. Hmm? I knew we were right. Yeah, well, let's go see what he's got to say. I hope the ice cream man didn't decide to get an early start this morning. Drop that gun! <laughs> Where are the little girls, you bastard? Why don't you check the house? There is no kids here. Of course not. I wouldn't have them infesting my house. Who has them? Where did they take them? For a man who's about to die, I'll grant him his last wish. Caesar has them. Caesar's who? Caesar Canaletti, he's the boss, he's the big man, he runs the pink market. I know who Canaletti is. It's too late for you to know, isn't it? Two suspects who've been killing people tonight. We have a description of their car. I want them stopped. Attention all mobile units. Be on the lookout for suspect automobile black 78 Chevy sedan. License plate number 679 Zebra Edward X-ray.
all mobile units, be on the lookout for Chevy Sedan. License plate number 679 Zebra Edward X. I hope he's okay. Keep going. Caesar. Are the papers ready? Yeah, everything's in order. Got the death certificate, parental consent, Department of Health, expenses, even got the taxes. Mm, that was fast. Yeah. Remind me to give you a bonus for efficiency. I solved another problem, by the way. That is? Well, Hoffman was supposed to be here at 6. It's almost 7. Call him. I did. There's no answer, but uh, I'm having Arnold take care of it. Good. Okay, sweetheart, I want you to count backwards, starting from 10. You're going to count along with me, okay? 10, 9. She's out.
Christ's sake, Young. Come on, hurry it up. So, uh, it's supposed to mean you like me now, huh? Get off. Pablito. Hey, well, it's about time you got here, and no, that's Pablito. Oh, uh, oh Don Pablo. Very good, very good. <laughs> I came to take the Godfather back to work. I'm sorry, my buddy. No, no, it's okay. Thank you, sir. Hasta pronto. You got it. And who is this? Maria. Take it easy, partner. Nice seeing you again. My name's Phil Sheldon. I'm with Child Protection Program Foundation. Thank you for staying here and watching the whole movie. Thank you for taking enough interest to listen to what I have to say. Children are our future. It's a trite little phrase. It's a nice little slogan. It's a cliche, and it's the truth. These children, your children, our children are our future. And we must protect that future. We must protect it from the horrible things that happen in this film, and we must protect our children from the many other things that are happening in our society. That's what Child Protection Program is all about. We distribute literature. We want to get it in the hands of parents and caregivers and others who have a concern about children. And we'd like to provide some to you. You can get a copy of our Child Protection Guide or our Victim Service Resource Manual 
by writing us at Child Protection Program Foundation, P.O. Box 1000, Carrollton, Texas, 75011. And our phone number, if you'd rather call us, is 1-800-688-KIDS, KIDS. That's 5437. Our publications tell you, give you suggestions on how to pick a daycare center, on warning signs of, of abuse, and many other important things. And they're not written for PhDs. They're written for you and me to make a difference. That address, again, is Child Protection Program Foundation, P.O. Box 1000, Carrollton, Texas, 75011. Please write us or give us a call at 1-800-688-KIDS, 5437. Together, we can make a big difference. We can protect this next generation. We can help them to be happy and productive and safe.